Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to the Witcher Circus. Today we are playing the Max Damage Grave Robber. So someone requested in the comments that uh, in face of what I've been doing with the Plague Doctor with the Emboldening Vapors to buff up the Shield Breaker, that I do something similar with the Grave Robber, but using the Shadow Fate buff for even more damage. So we have about as a most amount of damage set up than I could possibly think of. So I have the Cloak and Dagger for plus 15% damage melee skills, I have the Jack Chopper on the Grave Robber, it's something you never see, for plus 15% damage melee skills and 3% crit, and we also have the Emboldening Vapors to use twice on this Grave Robber, so she's going to be doing a truckload of damage to whatever my opponent here is, Saturn Boker, Saturn Burger, that's a, that's a very nice name, to whatever they come up with. So I do not want to let that Crusader do very nasty things to my team, so I'm just gonna yeet him to, to position 3, and I think I'm gonna be quite happy with this. So, he decided to go for the battle belt first, definitely a good play, he is lacking on that accuracy. Actually, isn't this like the team that I played, uh, isn't this like the J-Man team? It's it's the painful stress team, actually, yeah, it's exactly that, it has the Materia Passes and, uh, and the battle belt and the Crimson Hook Crusader, yeah, it's exactly the, the J-Man uh, painful stress team. Okay, let's use this Jester here, let's drop a nice Harvest, hopefully get at least one hit. We hit the Jester, the most unlikely one actually, and we do bleed him. When you go, when you go for a, a chancy Harvest like this, what you're really going for is just hoping that you actually just get a, a Finale buff, because that's really what matters here. So now we're going to go Emboldening Vapors once, and then by the start of next round we're going to go Emboldening Vapors again. So you might ask, why didn't I start off with Battle Ballad and just went for the immediate Shadow Fade? Well, I didn't want to get stunned. If I get stunned, the whole point of the video is gone, so I really didn't feel like that would be the the greatest plan for me. I could yeet him again, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. He doesn't... Oh no, he does have a finishing character, is that Jester? Hmm, that's not good. Uh, there is a way that he does 14 damage. Oh, there is actually a way he does 14 damage, actually. I really hope that doesn't happen, though. I'm actually gonna pull that Antiquarian, because that Antiquarian's round is way more valuable than my my Bounty Hunter's round, because Bounty Hunter is kind of just disrupting right now, and Antiquarian has Festering Vapors with Battle Ballads and Materia Pestis, so if she goes Festering Vapors, she just literally melts my team, so I am, I am not about that, I am not about getting my team melted. So we're gonna drop another Emboldening Vapors, <laughs> look at that damage, plus 100% damage while stealth, plus 8 crit, plus 50% damage, look at this. 20 to 33, it's not even taking into account these two trinkets and the lunge plus damage. And the crit, of course. And the crit. Oh, I really hope this crits, my guy. I really hope this crits. Okay. So, 95 hit chance. 32 to 51! I can't even not do enough. 16 to 26! I don't even have normal damage. Wait, I could just go for this? Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, 58 damage on the Crusader! Holy Mary, Mother of Joseph! Oh, that is insane. Yeah, he's, he's forced to go for the immediate blackjack, but I go first every round. Oh my god, I get to 5% stun resist. There's no way. Crusader stays alive, though, sadly. He does stay alive, but oh my goodness, that freaking nuke just dropped on that Crusader. Just absolute destruction right there. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go for the confirmed kill here, there is no way we don't go for the confirmed kill. We get it. I feel like the most important thing that we need to do is keep this bounty hunter alive, just so he keeps the extra damage. So he has two finale boss right now, he's probably gonna drop it on the Jester, yeah he does. I'm not sure if that's a mistake, I mean it is a Jester, so Jester things, but maybe that is a mistake. Maybe, just maybe. Sadly, I don't have play grenades, so I can't actually go for that kind of play, but I can go Noxious Blast, which is uh, almost as good. Yeah, it is almost as good. Oh, I can't go Shadow Fade again, sadly. Well, that is a big sadly indeed. I can go for something else, though. Let's see. I have plus dodge right now, but maybe I don't want to act. Uh, I could go for a Preemptive Heal, though I feel like Preemptive Healing here would be kind of dumb. I can go for a Lunge. That's a lot of damage. Oh, one off, one off. It's not gonna matter though, because I'm just gonna go Noxious Blast. Uh, he's definitely gonna do that, yeah, that's a good play. But I'm able to counter his regen with Noxious Blast now. Maybe I should've gone Noxious Blast first and then, and then lunge. But uh, I'm, I'm, I was really unsure of what the damage values would be. 
that's not too good that we don't actually deal enough damage, so he isn't forced to click this uh, Hound Master immediately. And he's actually countering my DOT now, so he's not even dropping to this door. But we do have one advantage, and this advantage is that he's going to be forced to pick the Hound Master because uh, the Jester is dazed, right? So I feel like I'm going to have a really good chance of just uh, killing him right now. I even go for Lick Wounds, so he's going to have to pick. So right now he picks Antiquarian, goes like um, Festering Vapors most likely, then I pick I pick Grave Robber, I go Shadow Fate, then he pick... Uh, oh no, he just picks the Hound Master immediately! Okay, I'm surprised. Well, I'll just take the kill then, I don't mind. I do have... Um, I think it's a 100% hit chance actually, even though we don't have the Battle Vault buff. It's... Oh, it's an 88. Oh, you hate to see those miss, but thankfully we do not miss right here. Yeah, you just take those. If you see a kill like that, you just take it before you get afflicted by Festering Vapor's crit or something crazy like that. Speaking of Festering Vapor's crits... Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. One thing we can go for, though. We can drop another Shadow Fade here. And uh, that's uh, a big new coming again. Oh, it's coming. That crit 58. That was brutal. That was brutal. I'm loving this team. It's absolutely amazing. Bounty Hunters at test door though, that's not so good. Our Minecraft Bounty Hunter, I don't think I can... Oh no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. We'll give him the Golden Skin, maybe he resists a few death blows, I don't know, I could get lucky like that. You never know, you never know. There's no finisher on the Antiquarian, so... Uh, thankfully for us, there is no finisher on that Antiquarian, yeah. Big, big thankfully. I'm gonna heal this uh, Bounty Hunter actually, just so I don't get immediately death blowed with him. Because uh, he's really important to keep alive right now, I'm gonna have to say. He's gonna go Festering Vapor, sadly I can't hit position 4. I don't think I brought Thrown Dagger, I brought, I brought uh, Flashing Daggers instead. So that is that is a bit sadly. Uh, I'm gonna go Irrational, which uh, is Irrational. And uh, Paranoid, okay, Paranoid's extra dodge, but that's not gonna matter. So Irrational Bounty Hunter can do a lot of Irrational Bounty Hunter things. But I have... I have a kill chance here. I do believe I have a kill chance here, actually. Uh, let's see. Because uh, he's going to be day, so we won't be able to make use of the regen immediately by the start of next round. So I'm going to click the Bounty Hunter first before I die from the Dirk Stab. And uh, I could pull the Antiquarian. It's not a good idea. I'm not sure. Let's maybe do some damage. We miss, sadly, but it, just in case the Grave Robber didn't do enough, which I find very unlikely, I'm gonna have to say. 60, ah, oh, he gets a death blow, that's no bueno. That is no bueno. Honestly, pick to the face might do enough damage here. 23 to 37, please do enough. <laughs> I didn't even see how much, dam uh, how much damage a lunge would do, but uh, way more, way more. Plus 40%, yeah, it would have dealt even more than the Crusader, because that was a crit 58 with protection. With protection. Oh no, little Grave Robber. No, the corpse goes away. The corpse goes away. Grave Robber. Go abusive. Give me damage. No, selfish. Okay, that's fine. Just don't pass. It's okay. Just don't pass. It's okay. We have plus 10% death blow dealt chance melee skills, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh, we don't get it. I think that's gonna be all she wrote for us. And he gets a crit heal on top. Oh, and that's the other example. Oh, not a kill though. Not a kill. We stay alive for a little bit. Well, how about um, how about we go for a pass? I, I suppose it's going to be a pass, sadly. So this team, it can definitely get very, very good-looking crits, but in terms of actual play, well, you're pretty much playing one character down because you don't have a you pretty much don't have a plague doctor. She's just going to die after using a bolting papers twice. And Grave Robber is really good for those damage nukes, and Bounty Hunter and Chester can back her up, but you just kind of don't have any chunk, you kind of don't have any healing. So against a team that's competent, it's gonna have a hard time, even if it kills the Crusader, like, immediately. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it, definitely do give it a try, shout out to Saturn Burger for the awesome match, that crit was amazing. He sends me a message saying, Burger, I agree with you. And uh, shout out to the person that actually suggested the team, because this was awesome. I hope y'all... Agree with me, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers. Cheers.